I like going to movies. And one of the reasons I like going to the movies is because I grew up going to them all the time. It was something that me and my mom really enjoyed going together. My mom loves the movie theaters, and I grew up next to a brilliant art deco, gorgeous theater known as the Grand Lake Theater. It's this old art deco, renaissance the uh, style theater. And it's just gorgeous inside and out. And they had a organist who would play show tunes between the movies as a kid. And me and my mom, we would go down there, we'd get a hot dog at Caramel Mustards, we'd sneak that into the movie theater uh, with an egg cream or another type of soda from the fountain. And then we'd get some popcorn and we'd get some red vines and we would just do that. And me and my mom did that all the time. That was kind of our standard go-to Friday night or Saturday night activity. It was just something I've always enjoyed. I've enjoyed the concept of that, the, the enjoyment of it. And so I would say of all the things that I did pre-pandemic that I missed during the pandemic, that was the one thing I was really jonesing for. That was the one thing I really wanted to be a part of because again, it was such a big part of my childhood and part of my origin story, so to speak, that I, I couldn't wait to do it again. So I waited until I went on vacation. I came back from vacation because I didn't want to get coronavirus. One, I've been vaccinated since March. Um, but I didn't want to go into my vacation and not have my put my vacation in jeopardy because I went and saw a quiet place too. Like, no offense. If, if you don't get to go to the Dominican Republic because you saw a quiet place too and got coronavirus, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. So, after we came back from, from the vacation, you know, I got a cold the following weekend. I had it for a couple weeks. I still kind of have it. But I wanted to go see a movie. And Quiet Place 2 is still in the theaters. It's been out for about two months. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go see this movie. So I booked my ticket. Uh, I was one of the first people to book my tickets because it was a movie theater where you actually pick a specific seat and it was the first seat picked in the whole theater. So I was pretty excited about that. So I always have anxiety about the theaters where you pick your own seat because I always have this fear that people are going to sit in my seat and I'm going to have to have a discussion. And I've actually had to do this once in the 50, 60 times I've had to do it. So it's very small times I've had to do it. But I had that conversation once. And not only were they in the wrong seat, but they're in the wrong theater. And it was clearly they were hopping between theaters. And uh, as soon as I said I was going to get the manager, they skirted on the off. But so I go to my seat, and I'm in this row, and I'm in seat D9. And D seat D8 all the way this way is filled pretty much with one family. Solid. Uh, it looked like it was two adults and three kids. And the three kids, I would say, were 8 to 10. I'm not going to cast zero judgment that you're taking a eight to ten year old to go see a quiet place on a saturday night at eight o'clock at night no judgment there you you do you you understand what your kids can and cannot handle i'm not taking my eight to ten year old but you you do you not like the time that i saw someone bring a five-year-old to see black snake moan i will judge them but <clears throat> not a quiet place too and I said, you know what? I just don't want to sit immediately next to a kid in a movie theater, right? If it was an adult, maybe I would have felt more comfortable sitting right next to him because you have the thought process that it's an adult, maybe they're vaccinated. This kid was clearly too young to be vaccinated. They weren't wearing a mask. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do the social distance thing. I'm going to see one sit over for my seat. I sat in D10. And I didn't even put my feet up because I said to myself, someone could have bought this seat. I mean, I would have liked to have think the theater was still going to guarantee there'd be a seat between groups. But I guess they're not doing that anymore. So I'm sitting in D10. And, you know, the trailers are going to go through and I'm not seeing anyone show up. And then about... Before the movie starts, I see a, a, a group come into the row. And I instantly was like, do y'all have D10? Because if you do, I'll move. I just, I wanted to make sure I had social distancing between me and, and they're like, oh yes, that, that's us. And so I said, okay, I apologize. I went to immediately, I didn't even want them 
He's like, excuse me, I think you're in my seat. Because I didn't want them to think I'm just going to be this dude swiping in the old suite. So I go and I sit in my seat D9, and the kid in D8 gets up and goes to the other end of his family and sits down over there. So, of course, I don't think he had D8 either. Or they're just, you know, saying, hey, let's do the social distancing thing. And the group actually that was next to me, they didn't sit in D10. They gave the social distancing too. So I think people are being conscious of the distance aspect. You know, I eat my popcorn and drink my soda. As soon as I was done with my popcorn, I put my mask on and I drink my soda through a straw underneath the mask, lifting up like that. It just was an interesting experience. And it made me question, am I really ready to go back out and to do those things again? I thought I was. But here it was, push comes to shove, and I was not comfortable sitting next to a stranger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see another movie soon, because I wanna see Free Guy. Um, I'm probably gonna book in a uh, more desolate portion of the movie theater, right? Because if you think about most movie theaters today, they've got the upper section, then they've got like that row where everyone walks between, and then they got the seats below. And I rarely see people in the seats below. But I'm debating if I want to go sit down there next time. Because clearly I'm not ready to be sitting immediately next to someone. I like that social distancing. 